I just uh, hit, I hit the off button by accident to that last video, so it just like stops. I went to go hit the pause, I hit the off button. But I'm in the house across the street now, and this is a period of correct home, but it's designed... Uh, let me show you this. <laughs> I just saw this warning, firearms prohibited. <laughs> I haven't seen that in any houses. And then um, that's some kind of certificate, but uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> why that would be there, I don't know. Um, so in this house, what this house is designed to do is show you the progression of uh, the Lincoln house. So um, here, uh, May 2nd, 1844, is what the house would have looked like. front door that we walked in at but at that point it looks like the second store is not on it yet this house the house I'm in alone is a really really cool house <laughs> this is a map of the area where he lived here he served in the state building uh, before president which we're gonna be walking by here's another depiction of the house Front door once again. Looks like they're expanding a little bit of the backyard. And you can imagine that's, you know, people didn't move as much as we did now because of just the way the economy was, jobs, schools. So instead of moving or changing home locations, if you're going out of your home, your home grew around grew around you. There's a picture of Abraham Lincoln without a beard. There's uh, has some stories about family life here. Some of the things that he had. We just came from his house and there was a lot of uh, his stuff that he owned was there. This really talks about the neighborhood a lot, which is kind of cool, but I'm gonna run out of video time. And just wanna keep moving. Video time and museum time. I'm gonna try to get into uh, Hannibal, Missouri today to see the Mark Twain Museum. Okay, this is more like what we saw just now. So there it is as a two-story structure with a little Mary Lincoln saying goodbye to President Lincoln or Mr. Lincoln. The backyard that we were just in is a little bit, looks a little bit different. I'm not sure it looks pretty much. Looks, the backyard I was just in, it looked pretty close to that. So that room off in the distance has, has Abraham Lincoln without a beard. This room, this is February 1861 with a beard. Oh, well, there's another one there. So there's three different models, three different models of uh, Abraham Lincoln's home in here. Let me look at this real quick. Looks like some of the uh, some of the campaign stuff that they had. All right, so I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go across. There's two more houses I want to walk into and uh, talk to you guys about. It. So just just to give you a reference, the house that's behind me was the one with the models in it. And as I walk across the street, watch your footing because these curbs are a different height than what we're used to. There's Lincoln's house, and the house I'm going into next is right there. That one's gonna show us a little bit about. Uh, how this little neighborhood is designed, how they keep it restored, um, keep it period correct. Okay, so this is called the Charles Arnold House. And um, I'm beginning to see a trend here. <laughs> they definitely don't want you to have firearms in here for some reason. Have many worlds, but don't have them in here. These walls could talk, same in an old house. So it looks like this has, this is a, Kind of an empty house. You could probably do this tour 
if you get, I started, I was in the building by 8.30, it's 9.30 now. Um, I would give yourself an hour and a half to go through all of this. Hour and a half, maybe two. You know, it talks about, this one talks about some of the cooks, some of the families that were in this area. I'm gonna walk through it pretty quick. You know, and maybe this, it wouldn't be, it'd be worth your while if you're looking at it and saying, well, there's not a lot in that house. There's really not, but it is nice to walk through and absorb some of the history. But, uh, oh, this is interesting. They have a restoration example here. Wow. Look at this wood. Wow. So you can imagine when there was fires, man, this whole town was just burned up. I mean, I'm getting some really bad lighting. But yeah, if there was ever fire in these places, this is a depiction of them restoring the homes in the area. What they had to do. And I think it's cool to pay tribute to the people that are behind the scenes, that are restoring these and building these things and preserving them and making them something for us to see. So that one room talks about those people. I didn't spend too much time in there because I am running out of uh, film time and time time. But I'm gonna get a book that I can, that's generally what I do, is that when I come to places like this, I'll end up buying a book about it and I could read it at my own leisure. I'm walking up to the house of the person who was uh, Afro-American that was active with the Underground Railroad. This will be the last thing I shoot, then I'll get these two on YouTube. I'm gonna walk back to the museum. So this is kind of interesting. I'm sure this is just not very correct, but uh, looks like some kind of, well, looks like some traveling, well, uh, I would imagine this might be in like the parades. Yeah, probably in their parades, like a traveling log cabin. And then there's this guy over here. Which this looks more like something you would see for real. You know, a cart, a cart with some crates and some, uh... I'm not getting tired of the selfie stick. I don't need, I got them at home. I just caught, I just grabbed the worst one I could possibly find. Now, I don't know if we can go in here. So, Robinson was the last name of, of this person. One of Lincoln's neighbors was involved in the Underground Railroad, but I don't think we can go in. Uh, it looks like it's closed. I don't think we can go in. So, Henson Robinson. Uh, let me just do it this way so you can see me read it. During the 1860s, this was the residence of Henson Robinson, a partner in the Springfield businesses concern that sold business concern that sold stoves, furnaces, and tinware. Robinson's company had a contract to manufacture tin cups, plates for soldiers during the Civil War. The um, Dothan, the, the uh, guide at the first house said that that guy was um, Underground Railroad dude. Oh, here we go, Underground Railroad in Lincoln's neighborhood. Uh, it has a lot written about it. History link, the phone you call 11, 11 runaway slaves belonging to citizens of St. Louis and for which a reward of 300 each was offered were captured in this, can't read it, captured in this county yesterday by individuals of the city. So that was a newspaper clipping talking about how people from the Underground Railroad would end up in this area. They really have done a great job on preserving not only these homes but you know the history look at this boardwalk i'm walking on i'm not sure I, I'm, I'm positive it's period correct i'm not sure if it's actually walkway that was here i would imagine all those years exposed to the elements that it would not be but you know back then they didn't make stuff temporarily they made stuff to last forever um i don't make this stuff i don't know much about woodworking or how these boardwalks would be maintained but it's not cement like a current day sidewalk so uh, if someone's watching this and may know more than I say, no, 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 those are period correct or those are of the time, they can last that long or somebody else may see it and say, oh, there's no way that would have, would have rotted a long time ago. So who knows, but either way, it's a, cool, it's a cool feeling to walk through this town, see how some of this historic, all these historic uh, 
houses. It's nice that they have it blocked off to city traffic. Lincoln's home right there. And that people can just take their time. Here's some photograph equipment, depiction of photographing equipment at the time. Now, just off, just off the top of my head, if I remember right, uh, this is this is his funeral uh, processional. But off the top of my head, if I remember right, correctly, Lincoln was the first president photographed as presidency. Now, when photography came out, it doesn't mean that previous presidents don't have photographs of them. They just weren't president at the time. They have left the office before their photograph was taken as a president. But previous men that were presidents before Lincoln very well were photographed, but it was just after they were president.